What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and what will be the last ride of 2019. We did one of these last year, the last ride of 2018 and it was just me on my Icarus on my own. But today for the last ride of 2019, I'm on the mountain board and I'm with a bunch of guys here. We're gonna go and hit something up called the Nikki line, which is like a disused railway line. Um, it's gonna be muddy, it's just tracks and stuff like that, but it's gonna be awesome. And actually it's ended up being a bit of a YouTuber meetup. Everybody here actually has a YouTube channel and we'll speak to them all later. But yeah, this has been organized by Simon Rowe, EV side, um, top marks for him. It looks like it's gonna be awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. So better get the lid on and I think we're gonna head off uh, on this track. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. Should be awesome and I'll catch you in a bit. natural habitat in the mud great ride with me mates can't go wrong Whoop. well you can go wrong if you slip over but we're trying not to do that are we Tim trying not to <laughs> especially when you're on evolved tires at least you're not on the sixes anymore mate no I had to take them off so Tim was riding the sixes at the uh, cart track um, and yeah he's back on the what are they six and a half seven Sevens. He's back on the sevens, guys, because uh, this is a bit gnarly. I mean, this bit's one of the drier bits, but uh, yeah, it's certainly uh, certainly good fun anyway. We're just having a little break at the halfway point to we're going to Starbucks believe it or not it's about nine miles in this direction we're about four and a little bit miles in and it's been awesome so far this track is class now myself and Neil are both on mountain boards um, I don't know why Neil's board isn't as muddy as mine maybe we've maybe I've not been avoiding the mud well, do you know why it isn't as muddy? <laughs> go on I've been doing little jumps and it knocks it off oh okay <laughs> but there we go look so yeah, it's been an awesome ride so far. Um, and we've got another four or five miles to go. The Evolves are on about 50% battery. So I'm not sure if they're gonna make it. I'm on 82, Neil's on 79%. So we're, we'll definitely make it. And I haven't bought the charger, so I'm hoping I'll make it there and back. Anyway, let's have a look at some of the pods, man. Some of the state that they're in. Yeah, 
So guys, we're out on the trail, we're just having our break and I want to introduce you to a guy that I've been talking to online, been watching his videos, this is Neil. His channel is Eastgate Monster. Yeah. Eastgate Monster, yeah. Tell us a little bit about your channel, mate, and what you're up to. Um, basically, my channel is, I came from riding a one wheel for about a thousand miles and then swapped over to riding a tramper, which is completely different. I used to ride a, a skateboard as a kid, but haven't done much and it's just my learning process and me sharing a little bit of what I do when I as I learn stuff anyone who else is learning uh, and just showing my progress as I as, as I learn what I'm doing really and I don't know much about the boards um, I mean you, you actually build them wherefore I wouldn't have a clue on actually how to build one how to do the maintenance all that kind of stuff I've got to learn yeah man I've been really enjoying watching your journey from some guy who just buys an off-the-shelf board which is like perfect for what like trampers are you buy something like that it's already done you buy the batteries you put them in I've been enjoying watching your journey from like sort of getting the board figuring out falling over not being able to turn and upgrading this part and that part and just sort of like watching your journey and seeing the improvement video by video Thanks, uh, yeah. I think it's been awesome man and guys listen if you like the sort of stuff that you see on my channel the mountain board stuff then I would definitely recommend that you check out Neil's channel uh, a bit more sort of like ride focused rather than the building but uh, yeah so I've been really enjoying it yeah. man and just yes. keep going man it's awesome yeah. well so, I mean I, I am, I've got full body armor on here and you know it's just get completely padded up and then if you fall over it doesn't matter yeah man, definitely. And, uh, and it's just watching me fall over a lot really <laughs> <laughs> so guys listen subscribe to eastgate monster man you won't regret it cheers man you're welcome
Oh, slow down, slow down. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> that one's a bit more slidey, I think. We're going to get slippery, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Why oh, it's one that renders in today? <laughs> My eyes aren't purple anymore. It's, it's oh, I see. Yeah. It's freezing. It is. So, guys, we've um, we came along. Where are we? Half Endon. I think. That's where we started. Oh, in that case, I don't know where we are. We don't know where we are, guys. We've <laughs> went down this Nicky Lowe. We've done eight miles. We got to Starbucks. We're just having a coffee and a chill out waiting for the Evolves to charge up. Sorry. But okay. with me here, my man Tim. How's it going, bro? Yeah, really good, man. Really, really good. You guys should know who Tim is. If you watch my channel, I'm pretty sure you watch Tim's channel. But do you remember I wrote a community post saying that um, one of the, the, the local pillars of, of our eSkate community actually got prosecuted for riding his electric skateboard. And at the time, he didn't want to come forward. So I didn't say who it was. But consequently, he did come forward. Yep. And it was Tim. That was me. Yep. So uh, listen, Tim, tell us what happened, man. Yep, sure. So. Um the reason I originally didn't say anything about it to start off with was I know I had to fight it being like who I am in the community, but if I lost, that would have been really bad. So I was like a bit worried. But yeah. so behind the scenes, there was a lot going on. I had a lot of help from someone else in the community who some of you all know who he is. He is awesome, man. Yeah. Shout so, out uh, to you. If, you, you know if he's you watching are. it, yeah, 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 yeah. fair play, man. He's cool, man. Yeah. Um, so um, I was stopped for allegedly riding a motor vehicle whilst ignoring a road sign in a bike lane. So um, they tried to charge me, to fine me 50 pounds originally. Yeah. Um, and I was really nice to the guy. We had a 40 minute conversation with the police and I was showing him sort of like research that we've done in the community. We're very proactive in what we do. Uh, but he just, he wasn't, he wasn't taking it. No. So um, this went, the police wanted to prosecute it this went to, um, then it goes to CPS, they decided they would prosecute it, it gets put before someone before it goes to court, they decided they would still go ahead with it. Um, but when it got to the magistrates, yeah. and it was put before them, they weren't really that interested in prosecuting someone for being on an electric skateboard. And we presented them with a little bit of information, and th that's all they needed. They were just like, we basically had conversation slightly outside court time yeah and there was a slight recess had a brief conversation with someone and they were like okay we're gonna be just done yeah and that, i'm actually not surprised tim because yeah. you know there's been a lot of stuff in the media about electric skateboarding especially with that yeah. poor girl that killed herself on a scooter um but you know as i keep telling people she was killed by a lorry not by a scooter yeah and lorries killed plenty of people in london all the time the the thing was also if you look at the photographs i think she was next to a cycle lane which they closed which they closed yeah. and the, when i got stopped by the police what they're saying at the moment is they are on a zero death policy so this coming year the police would like to get the road deaths from cyclists and all this kind of other road users down to zero so Everyone should be actively encouraging us to go in the cycle lanes as much as possible. Of course. Skateboard, scooters, whatever it is, get people off the road, out of the traffic, and into cycle lanes. Cycle lanes should definitely be multi-vehicle, like use. PEV use. Yeah, totally. of course. I mean, 100%. Definitely, and let's keep changing arms. Swap arms. <laughs> so heavy. And, you know, and also, it's the it's the morality of it, you know what I mean? We're, we. Yeah. You know, especially yourself as well, Tim. I've got to give you credit, man. You you set up rides uh, in London for for Carve a lot, and yeah. you ride carefully and safely. I've been on rides with you before, so I know for a fact that you wasn't riding down that that cycle oh, at no, any great rate totally of knots. Yeah, yeah. It's just a right. We're, we're like grown men riding electric skateboards, man. You know, we're not trying to cause trouble. So I totally 100% uh, res respect you for fighting it. You know, it, it has was, to be done for everyone. It was, this is what I was saying to someone else in the community. Yeah. I'm gonna fight it not just for myself, but you know, if I can get out there, put it in front of magistrates, win my case, and then it becomes a matter of record that someone else has taken the court for riding skateboards. So that's two people they've attempted to prosecute for riding skateboards, that's yeah. two failures the CPS has had. And it brings so, us that little bit closer to perhaps legalising it. So Yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. I totally respect what you did, man. I mean it's a lot of balls to take that to court, so it's a lot of research and a lot of work done, but yeah. it's worth it. 
Nice one. And listen, yeah. guys, if you're not already, subscribe to Tim's channel. He's quite evolved focused, but also does other stuff. A lot around. of gear reviews and a lot a of lot other of gear products. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. I love to the Tim's channel. I already promote him in the sidebar on my channel because I just like totally dig what he's doing and I, and I love his channel, man. So yeah, subscribe Thanks, to Tim. Thanks very much. Charge, although not fully, not fully. I might add the smallest board is charged. The smallest board is charged. Simon's board is charged. By the way, guys, this is Simon Rowe. He runs a channel called the EV side. Yeah, that's it. And he focuses on electric cars and a bit of e skate. Um, so if you're into that sort of thing, go and give him a follow up. All the links for everyone's channel will be in the description. And this guy, the dancer. Yeah, I need to do more dancing content. Thomas Killmaster, he ha he rides a little car and an Evolve, and he, have you ever seen those people that do like crazy dancing stuff on, on electric skateboards? He's one of them. The loosest trucks known to man, yeah. possible for anybody else to ride. Yeah, we need to get you on that, see so how that feels like. We do, actually, yeah. we do. Are you on this? No. <laughs> I'm, stra I'm strapped in, bro. Oh, you're strapped in now. I'm strapped in. So this is Thomas Killmaster, so also, again, another YouTuber. Go and give them a follow if you like that sort of stuff. I'll put all the links to the guys' channels in the description, of course, so you can go follow them all. But yeah, it's anyway, as I was saying, it's getting very, very dark, and that place is slippy. And we've got eight miles of it to go back, and it's not even fully dark yet, so we're a, li we're a little bit concerned about this. Um, and Evolved didn't get to fully charge either. Yeah, so I got 12% charge in because uh, I borrowed Simon's charger and I've got enough to get back. Neil perhaps has got enough to get back, we don't know, he didn't charge. He's the wild card. <laughs> He's the wild card, yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, man, let's hit the, hit the trail yeah. again. I'm not sure if I'll be able to film it because it's going to be super dark, but we'll see. Bit of work to be done but he's definitely better than me anyway so <laughs> don't tell him i said that so yeah guys getting super dark now we're just on our way back to the nikki line uh it's gonna be interesting to see whether the evolves make it because the gtrs didn't get fully charged the uh, Simon's GT did fully charge and he let me his charge. I managed to get 12% in on my battery, but the GTRs didn't fully charge and they were on about 10% when we got here. And obviously, with it being pitch black, I don't know, we've got to try and get home. I'll be, I should be all right. I'm on 72%, man, but that's why we ride electric mountain boards, man. You know, it's just a lot easier than, uh, than a skateboard with AT wheels. So, yeah, anyway, guys, we're on our way. And uh, oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to film in there because it's so dark, but we'll see what happens, man. We'll see what happens, guys. Here we go then, guys. Into the belly of the beast. The sloppy, now pitch black Nikki line. This is guys. Obviously the camera is very good at uh, making things a lot lighter than they appear in real life.
because a twig, a twig got caught in there. Okay, put the belt looks all right. Yeah. The belt looks all right. It's just you gotta. Just push down. No, because this is in the way. It's sort of stuck. If we carried on riding, that would just chew into the belt. Yeah, all we need to do is remove this. And then pop it back on. No, no. Just if we remove that, we'll be able to do that. Don't don't destroy his belt, mate, because then he's stuffed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have spare belts? No, no. So guys, uh, <laughs> about 10 minutes in and uh, <laughs> like a twig got caught in Simon's belt and like pulled it off the pulleys. So uh, yeah, the earth is fighting back Tom, yeah. So we're kind of like in the middle of nowhere, it's pitch black around us and we're changing in a belt on an Evolve. So, this is why, this is why, <laughs> <laughs> Me and Neil oh, ride yeah. spur drives, isn't spur it? Drives, yeah. We don't ride belts on uh, all terrain because of silly stuff like this. We exactly. ride spur drives. So and if you do ride belt drive, you wear it. You use an enclosed one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, definitely. Yeah, we ride spur drives because then you don't get anything like this happen. Other stuff can happen with the spur drive, but uh, but that can't happen. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go and give Simon a hand. I'll back in a sec. <laughs> Have a look at that belt. <laughs> Is it all right? I think so, I think it's just... Oh, you got away with that, mate. Yeah. Perfect. A lot of people riding like this take the belt covers off as well. Yeah. For that reason. Oh, really? Right, we got him, we got him going, guys. So, Cheers, guys. gonna hit the road again. So guys, we made it. We made it eight miles back. Um, I got 36% left. Neil's got like 42, something like that. Tim, how much have you got, bro? Um, I'm still on 15%. 15% on the GTR. Uh, for some reason, um, Thomas is on a GTR, but his battery's dead. Yeah, he was carving hard, I think. But carving, yeah, it will be the carving that he does. So Thomas and Simon have both dead, got dead batteries there, like, we're scattered out on the track. There's only us three that have made it back. We decided to just come back and get ready to leave. So yeah, guys, I suppose that marks the end of 2019. Last video of 2019, last ride of 2019. And we've got some super cool stuff coming up next year. I don't really, uh, I don't want to tell you, I don't want to give it away, guys, but we've got some awesome stuff coming up. I think you're going to enjoy some of the stuff that we're going to be doing next year. And of course, we're going to be doing some more awesome rides with the likes of Tim and definitely with Neil. It's been super cool to meet you, by the way, Neil. Yeah, it's been great to meet you. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll definitely be doing some more rides with these guys next year, uh, onwards and upwards. So, uh, listen, guys, thank you very much for all the support. I know I keep saying this to you in these videos towards the end of the year, but I feel in, in a reflective mood. So, thank you very much for all the support. I'll see you next year for more awesome stuff.